Clash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
It's 10 a.m. and the cats had breakfast today. And here's Boo with his food because he did not want to eat it. This is the um, this is the homemade raw food that I made the other day. It's quail, and for some reason he doesn't like it, so I have to try to bribe him. I put some treats on top of it and I put a few crunchies on top of it. Um, and he just walked away because he's eating Splash's plate. So it seems that Splash is not a fan of this food either. Um, so I fed him up here with Boo. And in order for Stella and Simba not to eat everything that's on both of these plates, I had to pick them up and put them in my bedroom with the door shut. So Stella and Simba are in there. Uh, the door shut so they can't eat everyone else's food. It looks like Boo is really enjoying Splash's food. Now, all the cats got the exact same food. The exact same food. So I don't understand why he's enjoying one plate better than another plate. But if he eats, that's fine. Hopefully Splash will come around and eat some food. Sometimes it takes them a while and then they want to eat. But again, when you have multiple cats and other cats are very happy to eat the food, it's a more difficult situation. I just opened the back door. Here's Hydrox and him and Ditto were hanging out by the back door for probably the past hour or so. I looked out the window before and I saw them both hanging out around here. I actually saw them headbutt each other. It's so funny. Hydrox was standing on the patio and Ditto just walks up to him and the two of them literally headbutt each other. So it looks like they're going to be happy today because it's supposed to be sunny. It's actually supposed to warm up a bit. It's supposed to be in the high 40s, which is great because it's been so cold and it's always nice to have a sunny day hopefully the rest of the snow will melt that's what i'm hoping and i have to put some food out for them and there's something else i was going to mention and i totally forgot here's boost food that he doesn't want to eat and here is a can of food i was just about to feed hydrox and ditto this can of food and Boo was looking at it. So I just took a little bit of the food, mixed it up with some water. This is going to be his bribe. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to top this raw food. I should probably be using a spoon for this to make sure I get the liquid and everything. There. Okay, now let's see. Let's see if he'll eat his food. Now the question is, will he only eat what I put on top of the raw food, or will he eat the raw food also? You know, cats are funny. Sometimes you do have to trick them and bribe them to get them to eat a healthy food or food that you want them to eat. So we'll come back in a little while, and we'll see what Boo ate. Look what's going on here. Ditto was rolling around next to the plate of food, showing his belly to Hydrox, which is a submissive move on Ditto's part. And Hydrox just went back to eating. Cats are so weird. They can be so strange sometimes. It is 1 p.m. right now. I'm just about to go out and run some errands and look what I just saw. So do you see where the Rubbermaid bin is over here? It's usually here. See these two pieces of wood? This bin is normally on these two pieces of wood. So somehow this bin got moved. I don't know how the bin got moved. Um, I don't know if it was a raccoon. I don't know if it was a cat trying to use it. Um, it's just really weird. I didn't hear uh, it. But now that I think about it, it could have just been the wind because we had that really, really bad wind um, that finally stopped yesterday afternoon. So it could be that wind got to it. I'm going to put it back where it was because right now it's blocking. It's blocking the entrance to Ditto's shelter.
It's about 10 p.m. right now, and the cats have just had some catnip. I'm down to the end of the bag of catnip. I have to go see if, if there's another bag in the house. Um, but I found a bag of, I think it's silver vine sticks. Um, so there's one of them near Boo. I gave one to each of the cats. Here's Boo. He's been rolling around in catnip. Here's Simba. There's his silver vine stick, and there's two coffee filters with some catnip in them. Here's Stella. She was enjoying the silver vine stick for a while. And here's Splash. So tomorrow I'm cleaning the floors and vacuuming the rugs. So tonight is when the cats have their catnip parties and they get kind of messy. There's also some lettuce leaves because um, the cats are looking for cat grass and I'm in the process of growing more. I planted the seeds the other day but they have not sprouted yet so hopefully they'll sprout soon. But the cats at least they nibbled on a little bit of lettuce but they didn't really want to eat it. It's 8 45 a.m. I got out of the shower a little while ago and I sat down on my bed to answer some uh, text messages and then I was just on the phone and this is what Stella does. She lays on my leg. She still does this. She's been doing this for years. She loves it. It is 9.36 a.m. and I put a platter of homemade raw food out for Ditto and Hydrox and it looks like Hydrox has been enjoying it. I gave him like three scoops of the homemade quail raw food. I know he really likes that a lot. And Ditto's rubbing up against stuff. So since Ditto has been living in what used to be Hydrox's shelter, he's been getting a lot of really good sleep. At least it looks that way to me. I could be wrong. Um, but you know, when a cat lives outside, they they don't sleep very well. They might only sleep a little bit at a time. It looks like Ditto has been getting better sleep in the bigger shelter because he has more space to spread out. And last night I was looking through some security camera footage um, because in addition to the live stream cameras, there are other security cameras outside. And I found footage from the night of the crazy raccoon. And the footage on the security camera was scarier than the footage on the live stream that night because on the security camera, I can hear the raccoon chattering and I could see that it went up to Hydrax's shelter when Hydrax was in his shelter and it just started banging on the windows and I was like oh my gosh this is a scary raccoon and after I looked at the security camera footage um, then I started researching rabid raccoons and if you look on YouTube there's quite a few videos of rabid raccoons and the ones in the videos on YouTube the raccoons are all kind of disoriented. They're out in the daytime. Um, I did not watch any videos of rabid raccoons out at night and being aggressive at night. There might be videos out there of that, but I did not come across any. So the question still is, was that a rabid raccoon? And if it was, um, are Hydrax and Ditto safe from it? Um, Ditto especially because the raccoon uh, charged Ditto shelter, which is the doghouse shelter. Uh, that raccoon charged the shelter a few times, and if it wasn't for the door on the shelter, um, the raccoon would have attacked Ditto. So basically the door flap of that shelter is what helped to protect Ditto. And then Ditto literally flew out of that shelter, um, like above the raccoon, like on top of the raccoon, and just started running for his life and the raccoon started chasing him and I watched the raccoon chase him. The raccoon was about a foot behind him the whole time that I saw him. Now I did not hear uh, a raccoon fight after that. I did not hear a cat fight after that. So I would like to think that Ditto got safely away. However, if Ditto did not get safely away and if the raccoon bit Ditto. Yesterday I learned that it could take up to six months for rabies to incubate in a cat. So 
that would be a long time that would be so that would be in august right now i'm filming this in march the incident happened um, a few weeks ago in february so that would be a long time to keep him under observation but that's what i'm gonna have to do just see um you know if i notice any signs hopefully hopefully that's not the case but you don't know you don't know i mean that's another danger when you have cats living outside now, in all the years that I've been living here, I've never um, seen a rabid raccoon. I've never had an incident with a raccoon that um, was like what happened the other night. Um, I've never seen any uh, cats that look like they had rabies or anything. Now, Ditto has been drooling from the mouth and um, like a week or so ago, it almost looked like he was foaming at the mouth, but that was actually before the raccoon. So Hydrax goes into like the submissive pose around Ditto. Ditto's throwing some dominance right now. But then Ditto rolls around in front of Hydrox, which is another submissive pose. So these two have a really interesting relationship. I hope Ditto has not been attacking Hydrox. Um, I think Hydrox is just trying to play it safe around Ditto. I had more food defrosted for them, so I just gave them another two scoops of the homemade raw food. And yesterday I bought a bunch of chicken to uh, try a new raw food recipe and also because Boo and Splash haven't really been liking the quail that I gave them. However, today I only had a few rabbit nuggets left in the bag. Um, those are the primal raw nuggets that I buy and I mixed in some of the rabbit nuggets with the quail and Splash ate it no problem. He really enjoyed it. So. Um, that was like a bribe for him and that worked so I'm fine with that and Boo is still not really enjoying the quail even with the rabbit mixed in I bribed him with some crunchies on top and with a few treats on top and he's just digging those off but as you can see here um, Hydrox and Ditto really love it so it's another windy day that's why I have the plate under the chair like this it's 11:45 a.m. and I just got back from running errands all morning and I went to the pet store and they had this, cat grass. This was $5.99 for a little container of cat grass. That's why I like to grow it myself because I could grow a bigger container for cheaper. But this is really good grass. The, uh, the edges on top, the top edges are tapered, which means it's still growing. And it's nice and green, which means it's fresh. And it's nice and uh, moist, so it's not dried out. So I'm gonna show you a very happy cat. Hello Simba, been taking a nap? Look what I got. Look what I got Simba. Simba has been wanting cat grass for days. So is Stella.
Did you enjoy that, Simba? Simba says, thank you very much. He enjoyed it a whole lot. It's 6.24 p.m. and I just finished making a big batch of homemade raw food for the cats. Now this is not a recipe that I normally make. This is a recipe that I got off of a reputable website about uh, making raw food for cats. Okay, Hydrox is outside and he always loves the homemade raw food that I make. So I'm gonna give him some of this new food to try and let's see if he will eat this and if he likes it. Okay, I just put it on the plate for him, and it looks like he's eating it. That's good. At least one cat likes it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.